Will Smith don't got a cuss in his rap to sell records. Well, I do. So fuck him and fuck you too. You I'm sorry, there's a whole lot of things that needs to be addressed here and we will certainly get to them with time. But the first thing I would like to discuss is the fact that I know you seen that wig was lopsided when you put it on. Like be so for real, now this is my thing, this is my thing. Not everybody can afford a cute wig or a good install, right? But everybody has the capacity to look in the mirror and be like, damn this shit is lopsided. Let me at least try to take the video or picture from an angle that presents some sort of illusion that it is not, right? Like the fact that you got on here with this top hat on your head, because that cannot even be called a wig. That speaks to how delusional you are. That That is the first thing that needs to be discussed. Don't get me wrong, I get having confidence. I get that, you know, because like I said, not everybody has the money to afford a good wig, a good install, all of that. But you know you look terrible. You know you look terrible. It's possible to love yourself and be confident and still be realistic and be like, damn, this wig is fucked up. Why would you, why would you record this video with this wig sitting like this? Like, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Step into reality, please. Like, y'all, I used to wear my hair straight, so wigs, wig, stuff like that years ago. And there was one time I got, like, a wig with a closure. Now, this is before, like, lace and all of that stuff. This was, like, this was years ago, right? And that closure was towed up, right? But I had the capacity to be realistic with myself. I looked in the mirror and I said, damn, this shit is messed up, right? So I had the sense to at least take pictures from the side where the part was not showing because I knew it looked terrible. There's no way you can live the bad bitch lifestyle if your wig sitting like this, my friend. That is simply what it is. I'm gonna suggest you buy a cute like BB or scarf, learn how to tie it, you know, in different ways, something because you look a mess. You look terrible. Honestly, when you walk down the street, people should point at you and laugh because why would you do this? Again, like this makes no sense. Anybody sensible would look in the mirror and say, yo, this is a, this is a damn mess. Let me fix my life up to the best degree that I can. And if you can't fix it again, turn to this side and record the video in a way that makes the wig look more appealing. Something you deserve to be publicly ostracized because what? Now let's get to the actual contents of this video. So this trans woman is talking about how apparently she fights real women as she said, right? So basically she means that she fights biological women. And this is the issue with this, okay? now. First of all, before I get into this, let me make it clear that I am not homophobic, I am not transphobic, but I am a teller of the truth. And I gotta make that clear because some of y'all think that being an LGBTQ ally means that you have to walk in delusion like some of y'all do. And that's not the case. I love you and I love the fact that you are you, you should get to be who you are, live your truth, but baby, I'm not finna be delusional with you, okay? So this is the fact. Clearly trans women and cis women are not the same. Like. Quite clearly, there is a biological difference there. No matter how you feel, that is the facts. I understand that that often makes trans people feel like gender dysphoria or dysmorphia. I always mix the two words up. But the fact remains that trans people and cis people have different bodies. That's just reality. You know, it doesn't take much detective work to come to that conclusion, right? So in the case of transgender women and cisgender women, well, a cisgender woman is born female and a transgender woman is born male. So this means different things biologically because clearly there is a biological difference between the sexes. And this is the facts. Biological males are stronger than biological females. It don't matter how you feel, what you identify as, that is the facts, okay? Like, that's not gonna change just because you put on a lopsided ass wig. That remains true no matter what. This brings up a very good discussion about the very blatant misogyny that people with penises have. If you were born with a penis, no matter what you identify as, whether you identify as a straight man, a gay man, a trans woman, whatever, if you were born with a penis, you are raised to be misogynistic. That is just the law of the lands, baby. It doesn't matter where in the world you are born. That is something that is conditioned into you. Like when we're born, society immediately begins to shape us. That's just a fact. Like look at the things that people say to little girls versus little boys. They're completely different, right? 
So to sit here and pretend that trans women do not receive the same socialization and shaping that cis men receive as it pertains to cisgender women, again, that's just delusional. And ain't nobody got time to be sitting here and being delusional with you, my friend. I'ma hurt some feelings with this. I know I am, but people with penises are raised to hate women. That is the facts. And oftentimes we talk about this as it pertains to cisgender men versus cisgender women. We talk about the patriarchy and how cisgender men oppress us all the time. But a lot of times these conversations are not being had as it pertains to transgender women and cisgender women, right? But when we see something like this, we see that this is the exact same, this is the exact same way of thinking that an abusive cisgender man has. Like if a cisgender man sat here and said that he was going to fight women, everybody would have an issue with it. Everybody would be like, well, that's messed up because clearly you're stronger than a woman. You know, you're a woman beater, yada, yada, yada. But when somebody with the exact same biology as a cisgender man says the same thing, Everybody ignores it because that person identifies as a transgender woman. Like, what? Let me make this clear. I don't fight niggas. I don't fight people who was born niggas. I don't fight people who ever was niggas. I don't fight people who even look like niggas because you probably is a nigga on the low. I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you, baby. I'm calling the cops. 911 on speed dial because this is where that whole concept of protect black women comes from because this is the gag. This nigga knows good and well he would not do this shit with a little white girl. This nigga knows good and well he better not fucking touch a little white girl because she will promptly call the cops and he will get thrown in fucking jail, right? But this nigga knows that he can play with black women in a way that he cannot play with white women. And again, that's this that's this socialization that in this case, people who are black men receive. They play with black women in a way that they do not dare play with white women. I have noticed this in real time in my life, right? There was one time I was walking down the street in Detroit and I was in an area that is quite gentrified, right? So on one hand, there's still hood shit going on. It's still niggas sitting on the stoops, cat calling women and stuff. But on the other hand, there's also gentrified shit going on. It's Becky's jogging through the neighborhood and walking their dogs and shit, right? So I'm walking down the street, across the street from some niggas that's sitting on like some stairs, right? And there's a Becky walking down the street. I forget if she was if she was walking down the same side of the street as the guys or if she was on the same side of the street as me. I forget. But I noticed that these black men catcalled me, but they didn't catcall the Becky. Now, to be fair, I'm a black woman, which means I look better than white women by default. So, I mean, I don't blame you for being more, you know, attracted to me, feeling that gravitational pull. I don't blame you, right? But I also have to acknowledge the fact that these men know better than to make a white woman uncomfortable. It irritated me because whenever I go for a walk, I am approached so many times by black men and they have no issue making me uncomfortable. There have been times where I was walking down the street and the guy was like, ooh, can I walk you to your destination? That's happened a number of times, right? And then when I say like, no, because who the hell are you? Like that's giving stalker, like you're following me, what, right? They will, they will follow me. Like if I keep walking, they will keep walking with me until I stop because like you not finna come with me to where I'm going and know my whereabouts. Like what, right? There have been many times this has happened and I promise you them same black men would not do that to white women because they know that white women will call the cops on their ass and get them dealt with and they know that black women will not do that, right? So they understand that they can do certain things to black women that they cannot do to white women. That is a fact and that is important to this conversation because the trans woman in this video was raised a black man. That's just the reality. That's something that cannot be escaped. We can have a general discussion about how men, period, that's black men, white men, Asian men, every man in the world is raised to hate and oppress women. And we can also have a deeper discussion about how black men, period, understand that they can do certain things to black women that they cannot do to other races of women. Because in the black community, we have this code of, of course, you know, the police are oppressive to us and they will kill us, right? So a lot of times black women, they put themselves on the back burner in order to protect black men. So even if a black man is harassing you or making you feel uncomfortable, a lot of times black women will not call the cops on him because she's scared of the very real threat of police brutality and non-black women don't care about that shit because of course they racist who gives a who right so we also need to have a deeper discussion about what is going on between black women and black men specifically because that's the only reason that this individual had the ashy dick audacity to say this doofy shit I cannot understand how it must feel to be a transgender person. I can't even begin to fathom it because I'm cisgender. The same way that 
a white person cannot understand how it feels to be a black person or the oppression that we face because of it i cannot begin to understand that concerning trans people right but no matter how you feel we still gotta live in reality my friend i don't care how much you want to be a woman how much you want to pretend that you are the exact same as a cis woman you are not and there is an issue with the fact that your big brolic ass is on the internet talking about beating women you need to take a look at yourself because it's always interesting when people who are raised to hate women begin to identify as women as I stated, all people with penises are socialized to hate women. It does not matter if that person is a cisgender straight man, a cisgender gay man, a transgender woman. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if that person is black, white, Asian, whatever. That is true across the board. But it is so peculiar when a person whose only hope and wish is to be a woman still manages to hate women. That speaks so deeply about the socialization that human beings receive, period. It doesn't even just apply to trans people because take a moment to think about white people. Y'all know good well, come on, I'm flower tie. Would I be flower tie if I didn't bring up race? Like, be so serious, right? Think about the socialization that they receive and how they are raised to hate black people, right? Isn't it crazy how it doesn't matter if a trans person grows up and identifies as a woman they still hate women, even though they want to be us. They, they copy everything we do. Doesn't that make you understand white people a little bit more?